coming off two consecutive home victories against Real Salt Lake and Toronto FC. NYCFC once again looked to defend their home turf, this time in a matinee tilt with the San Jose Earthquakes at Yankee Stadium. With a strong second half performance, NYCFC did exactly that, defeating the Quakes 3-0 with goals from Keaton Parks, Gabriel Pereira, and Chris Gloucester. Things got off to a bit of a slow start in the first half, with both sides exchanging spells of possession, but neither team really taking command of the game. For San Jose, their best chance to open the scoring came in the 22nd minute, when Christian Espinosa forced Sean Johnson into a diving stop. Minutes later, NYCFC saw their best chance of the half go begging, as Talos Magno's header off a corner hit the post in the 28th minute. The score was nil-nil at the halftime break, with NYCFC having plenty of firepower on the bench to try and tilt the tide in their favor. NYCFC were forced into an early change in the second half when left back Malte Udmanson went down with an injury. Former U.S. Youth International Chris Gloucester replaced him, one of a big impact on City's second half. Bringing on Maxi Morales and Gabriel Pereira, the game shifted totally in NYCFC's favor. With these key figures introduced, NYCFC began to dominate the match. The breakthrough came in the 74th minute when Talos Magno slipped Keaton Parks behind the defense for a one-on-one -on -one chance with Quakes goalkeeper J.T. Marcinkowski. Parks was clinical, slotting the ball into the back of the net for his second goal of the year. A second city goal immediately followed when the substitute Pereira used some nifty footwork inside the box and bent the ball into the far left corner of Marcinkowski's net. Fellow sub Chris Gloucester joined in on the fun, scoring his first career MLS goal on a breakaway in the 88th minute. The former U.S. Youth International hasn't gotten much playing time since moving to New York City FC from PSV Eindhoven, but he looked impressive at left back in the second half. The match ran 3-0 with NYCFC improving to 4-1-3, leapfrogging into fifth place in the Eastern Conference standings. City will continue their homestand next Saturday at City Field when they host Sporting Kansas City at 7 p.m. For WFUV Sports, I'm Nick Guzman.